Today we're going to make rendang, which is a really great Malaysian dish. It's, a, it's not a very liquidy curry, it's more of a thick, a thick curry. I'm of Malaysian descent. My dad's Malaysian, my mum's Vietnamese, so I've got a really good mix of cuisines. Malaysian food is probably one of the most varied foods, I would say. Um, you've got three main cultures in Malaysia. Uh, obviously the Malays, um, and then you've got Chinese and Indians. So you've got pretty much a boiling pot of all the best dishes. How do you say oishi in Malaysian? I don't know, man. Tell you my all, all, all I know, all I know in Malay is salamatatang, which means welcome. Salamatatang. Salamatatang. Malatang. Not malatang. Salamatatang. And terima kasih, which means thank you. And that's all the Indonesian slash Malay I know. So coming back to the ingredients we've got for the spice, we've got ginger chili, dried chilies, about 12, uh, lemongrass, onion, small onion, medium onion, galanga, which sort of looks like ginger but actually tastes quite different, that it's quite citrusy, and then there's of course garlic. For the curry part, uh, we've got cinnamon stick, again lemongrass, desiccated coconut, kaffir leaves, about six small leaves or four large leaves, three aniseed, this is tamarind, salt, cardamom, brown sugar, and cloves. And then finally for the meat, because rendang is a very meaty dish, pretty much consists only of meat, there's no veggies in it. Um, that's about 1.2 kilos, you can get away with one kilo. Recipe usually costs for one, but I really like more meat. Do Malaysian actually eat rotten curry? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, because as I said, there's Indians in Malaysia, um, and the really great thing, if you ever go to Malaysia, is actually at least when I was there, um, about 10 years ago now, they serve it in newspapers. So the curry is actually served, they put it in a bag, and then they wrap it up in a newspaper, and the rod is wrapped up in a newspaper. So it's a bit like fish and chips, you know, in the UK they wrap fish and chips traditionally with uh, newspapers. Um, so that's the Malaysian version of fish and chips, roti and curry in a bag. They don't do it here, obviously, they put it in plastic things, but that's just a cool little thing about Malaysia that I really love. And she dropped it on the floor. Someone's cooking skills, good. More onions ended up outside. What the... Wendy, seriously, what is wrong with your cutting skills? Jeez. Talk about Malaysia, so shout out to my favourite singer, Andrew Tan, who is Malaysian. And did I'm not actually... know that. You, did, you, don't, you don't know Andrew Tan? No, Andrew I thought, Tan I thought he was my real estate agent. What, really? No. This is actually a karaoke channel masquerading as a cooking channel. Okay. Galanga. There you go. Yeah. Andrew Tan. Yeah. Can you imagine like the odd chance that he actually watches this YouTube channel and actually comments? Yeah, it's like, oh, I love this Wendy person. So amazing. I will. I come to Australia to meet Wendy. If that actually freaking happens, I will sing a different song of his in every single episode. All right, we're gonna do the food processing part now. I put the ginger. The galanga, the onions, the uh, chili. So we're gonna mince this thing up now. How do I turn this thing off? Is there a like, do I have to say a prayer? <laughs> say a little prayer. Do I, do I have to invoke the gods? Uh, there's an on switch. There's an on switch. So where's the, is this, is this the on switch here? Da, 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 da. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's like Mario Kart. <laughs> Maybe if I shake it enough, it'll just mince itself. So okay. this is going to go in eventually mm -hmm. with the curry. So. Okay, so the next part is we're going to take the beef. So we're going to brown it. We're going to brown half of it first. And then we're going to add the spice mix and then eventually chuck this in. So uh, uh, Initially it's going to be pretty watery, but um, it's going to turn out uh, pretty dry by the end of it because we're going to leave it for about three and a half hours or three hours. So in Sydney there's several good Malaysian restaurants. My personal favourite is a place called Albi's. 
uh, in Campsie. So what do you normally order when you go to Arby's? Arby's, not Arby's. Arby's is a burger, a burger joint. Burger joint in I obviously haven't been to Arby's. <laughs> when, 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 do you, when do you really know some sort of food? Uh, Arby's, I usually get the um, Tarlofa. Tarlofa? Tarlofa. Oh, Wait, is it a flat rice noodle or is it with, rice? With, with, with liquid, with um, the with egg sort of uh, sauce. But chao fan is, it's got the egg, um, the egg what sauce. Pan? Oh, like what pan chao? That is a canto dish. Yeah, well done. Not... Oh, you know what? No, no, it's probably from, because there's a lot of cantos in Kuala Lumpur, as far as I know. The one dish that I really like that Albi's apparently isn't even Malaysian. Fantastic. Where are you introduce Malaysia? Malaysia is in my Okay, alright, yeah. the other thing I like in Malaysia uh, is laksa, of course. Laksa. Laksa is really good there. Hainan chicken, can't go wrong. I'd really like to do the Hainan chicken episode one day. Um, so we've cooked all the beef. Yes, it looks delicious. Look, next thing we're going to do is we're going to cook this sambar mix. You want it to be a bit oily. Um, because we had to put a bit of water in there, it is going to a bit. So just got to be careful. Because sizzle. That's the word you're looking for. Yeah, sizzle. sizzle. <laughs> yes, it's going to... <laughs> Leave that for a while, then we add this rest of this stuff, and then we chuck the beef in. And then so we'll we chuck this. the beef, chuck it. So I'm just gonna crock it. Oh, mmm, smells good. Didn't <laughs> gonna do chicken rendang, I've seen that. But that's Wait, not. but does that take three hours as well? I have no idea, but it's not my preference. I prefer beef. Oh, it's beef. coming to my nose now. Yeah, it's, it's quite spicy and smoky. Yeah, it smells good. It's the coconut it makes it smell. I'm smelling the spice, I think it's amazing. She's not being paid to say that, by the way. No, no, it really smells nice. Genuinely, Wendy is not, not yeah, yeah, yeah. giving me shit like she usually does. But yeah, so Holga food in uh, Malaysia is really good. Um, Penang. You went, you went, wait, wait, you went back there 10 years ago. Oh, no, it's probably about seven years ago now. For yeah. what? Just to see family. I've still got extended family over there. Okay. Do you speak Malaysian? No. Do they speak English? Uh, yeah, well, everyone learns English over there. Oh, so you can communicate normally? Well, sort of, yeah. Sort of. I mean, they, they, okay. they speak, they speak uh, a Malaysian, not like, they, there's more like, um, uh, let me do a Malaysian accent, Malaysian English accent. No problem la, I tell you la, no problem, I yeah, tell Singapore. you. The, the Singapore and Malaysian very stop, are not the same, but very similar. No problem, I can't tell you, come here, no problem. Eat the laksa, or not laksa, rendang, very nice. Chewing the fat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the side dishes. We're going to do the anchovy sambal. This is just a side dish. So this is in Malaysian, what they do is they've got a sort of a, a sauce that goes with it. You can eat it with the nasi lemak. And, uh, you know, it depends on what you use. Usually, um, if you have anchovies, it's quite nice to mix it with the anchovies, that sort of thing. So, so I think it's similar like when you actually get like the roti in Malmak, you get three types of different yeah. curry on the side, right? So when you get nasi lemak, nasi lemak. Um, you actually get three side dishes on the side as well. So yeah. it's not just a plain rice. So it's like dish one, dish two, and then I think there was We're doing a proper one. today. That's it. Yeah. We're doing a proper nasi lemak. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to mince the uh, sambal which I've just thrown in the shallots, the garlic, the ginger, and the sambar, all that. And then we're just going to mince that. We're going to fry that afterwards. And then we're going to add the anchovies, which Wendy's frying at the moment. We're going to put half aside to eat. I mean, we're going to eat it all, but half is going to be eaten as is. And then half is going to go with this mix. What's up? So that's anchovies. What's left? Can you stop eating it, please? It's really good. Yeah. Like, I would eat this with beer. So this is uh, for the coconut rice. We've got some jasmine rice, some coconut milk. Desiccated coconut is optional. What we can do is you just fry it and then you toast it, and sprinkle it on top. So there is this. It's starting to smell really sweet. Which in Taiwan we have this like this good that you give to kids. It's like full cooked walnut, and it has like um, coconut flavor in it, and it's starting to remind me of that. Similarly, the pandan leaves, these look like katanas. They're pandan leaves. I don't really know what they're from, except pandan. Uh, you can make really nice cakes. I know Vietnamese people like to make cakes. Green one, don't eat it. Okay, she's eating it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tie them in a knot, and then we're gonna chuck it into the rice as well, on the stove, some water as well. And then uh, rice will be done, and then hopefully we'll be able to eat pretty soon. Whenever, whenever. <laughs> Why are you shooting this? It's not gonna go in there. 
I'm, I'm very confident about this compared to the pie that we had last time and surprisingly compared to the gyoza last time because the gyoza was like, oh, I'm not really sure about this. It was good. It was good. It was good though. But this time, I'm like very confident since the beginning because everything just miraculously works. So I think he does have a bit of Malaysian in his genes. So I'm going to mix this with a bit of rice and run down beef because that's pretty much the star of today, right? I'm very confident with this. Mm. You can try it with the egg as well. Put it on, put a bit on the egg. Yeah, try it. <laughs> yeah? Finally got the approval from Wendy. 10 out of 10. He is a legit Malaysian. I finally got a 10 out of 10 from Wendy. 10 out of 10. I would eat this even if I'm not in lockdown quarantine situation. Easy. <laughs> oh yeah. I think it's because of my love for Andrew Tan that just <laughs> into a great dish. You got to eat it, Okay, I'm going to have a try. What do you do need an IT Random beef is freaking awesome. Pretty legit. Legit yeah. Malaysian stuff. I pay money for this. Oh. Mm. My parents will be proud of me. Thanks, Dad. Success! Yay! You're Thanks, watching Dad. Chewing the Fat. Chewing the Fat. Like, comment below, or subscribe. What you said. Tune in next time. Sun turned out all right after all. Rendang, nasi lemak. I'll make it for you guys sometime soon. That's it. Did you think it was going to turn out this great? No, because I'm a pessimist. So. Where do you think it was? You, you were going to fuck up. The rendang. Did you think it was salty enough?